What's up, you guys? Uh, I've been on vacation this week, so I've had a lot of time to think about... Um... There's a dog. <laughs> uh, I've had a lot of time to think about the direction of the channel and, and some of that stuff. So uh, I've got a couple of things in the works. I'm going to be doing a series. A lot of people have been asking me where I find my stuff. How do you find your stuff? Uh, how do you find some of the deals that you find? And um, those things uh, are pretty simple, I'd say. But um, we'll get into that in another video. What I'm doing in this video is is taking this apart. And you can see already some stuff everywhere. And at one time, I, I've actually already gone in and fixed this. But at one time, the reset button was stuck down. Uh, I'm just going to be doing a teardown of some of these consoles and showing you some of the things that I use to get them clean, uh, to get some shine on them, and and it won't always be a console. Sometimes we'll uh, sometimes we'll change shit up and and we'll do uh, a controller, or we'll do a cartridge or whatever, a, a disc. Uh, we <laughs> we've already had a video. Uh, it's one of my most watched talking about the toothpaste trick. So uh, different things like that. Uh, when I first started this channel, I wanted to do some of that stuff. So. Uh, let's jump right into it. And with the Sega Genesis, um, this is the Mark II, it's it's pretty basic. You've got a screw there, a screw there, well, that's hard to see. Screw here, 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 and here. Um, so basically one at each corner, and I, I think there might be one under here. Maybe not. Okay, let's pretend not. So I'm going to pop those out real quick, and then... Uh, We'll get to the inside and, and how we clean things out. We popped those four screws there out, and it was exactly what I thought. It was one uh, one per corner, so nothing too serious to worry about there. And what I recommend with the screws, um, I have used everything from um, uh, like a Gatorade lid, uh, a Gatorade bottle lid, to, man, uh, they make, if, if you work with cars at all, they make um, these little bowls. They're magnetic bowls that will hold the screws. Uh, for this particular situation, I'm just going to leave them laying over there off screen. Now, here is the top to the Genesis. Obviously, this outside part is very dirty. Uh, here's the underside. Not as dirty because, like I said, I've cleaned this one. Uh, it's just been a little while, and I, I basically just blew the inside out. Now, you want to take the tray off, which there are three screws. One here, here, and here. So that will pop right off and... Uh, then also the buttons down here at the bottom you can push these pins in and that will pop the power button and the reset button up and you can just slide them out those go with the um those go with the screws over there so again there's pins on the side push them in and you can also with this one you can take the screwdriver and just pop it out the back um as far as the uh the light cover here uh, it's just clipped in that goes over the LED it spreads it into three lights I don't know a diffuser I guess you'd call it uh, so we've got all of that off and I'm going to uh, take the the cartridge slot apart here uh, there is a spring up in here be careful of that uh, I don't know you guys probably can't even see that because it's very dark it's way up in there but uh, be careful with that spring. Don't lose it. Uh, that's what makes these pop back. So uh, be careful of those. Uh, but with something like this that's all plastic and also with the buttons and that little diffuser, once you've got all this separated out, I recommend um, just a bucket of soapy water. Soap it, uh, soak it in soapy water. Take a sponge. Rub it down. Now, we're not going to be able to do anything about these scuffs and scratches and whatnot, but uh, we can do something about things like you know stains whatever this is and also even this matte finish and uh, whatnot can have some shine to it and I'm gonna show you how to do that later on as well so um, we'll get this one taken apart we're gonna switch gears and go to the bottom the real grit and uh, the, the bits and pieces now I do not have I don't know if I actually have it here in the apartment somewhere but I don't seem to have the expansion cover um, you can just slide this off I mean, it's pretty simple to get off. I don't know why you would, but you can. Um, there are screws here and here on the side 
the back corner again, one straight away in the back, uh, the top left corner, left side, and then if we turn it all the way back around down by the power switch, there are two more. I'm going to take those screws off and we'll pull the heat uh, shield off and then uh, we'll go over more bits and pieces in just a moment. All right, now that this little shield is removed, it's quite shiny. Um, it, let's say you had some dirt and dust buildup, which does happen on these. Um, you can uh, you can do the same thing with the all metal pieces with no circuitry that you can with the lids and the plastic parts. You can just soak this, um, put it into um, a bucket or a sink with some warm soapy water, rub it down with a sponge. And in fact, there is a little bit of dust on there, so I may do that. Uh, we'll set that aside. Also, worth noting, these are the four for what you can see here, let's see. These are the four exterior screws. So the ones that hold the body together. And these are the, come on, focus, focus, focus. These are the interior screws. The interior screws have that little notch out of them right there. See that? Um, you shouldn't be able to get them confused. They are a good bit shorter as well uh, compared to the outside screws. So. Um, try not to get those mixed up. It's not going to go back together the same. So this is what we're left with. Oh, goodness. Yeah, this is what you're left with. And uh, there are some more screws here. I think I could be wrong. Yeah, there are two screws, one on either side of the cartridge slot. So let's pop those out real quick. I haven't done this in a while. I'm afraid I'm going to... Uh, make myself look dumb. Um, big long black screws holding the uh, um, the pen connector here. And there we go. That is literally it. Now, you gotta kind of finagle things with the controller ports up here on the front. Um, they are Wow. I completely knocked the camera over. Okay. The controller ports recess up in these, uh, in the controller slots up front. So uh, when you take it out, you kind of have to, let's see if I can demonstrate, you, whether you're putting it in or taking it out, you kind of have to go in like this and then set it down into the slot. Um, if not, yeah, like what I just had happen there, they aren't lined up now. So um, be aware of that. Get those lined up and then drop it back into place but we can just pull that right out and there's another heat sink on the bottom or heat sink it's not a heat sink it's a heat shield and this one's pretty dusty so I put it in the soak pile and now you've literally got nothing left you've uh, I mean that's it that's everything this uh, goes right here like that um, but that's that's everything that's all your parts that's all your bits the bottom can go in soapy water, again, uh, scrub it down with a sponge. And then as far as the guts of your, uh, of your Genesis, you know, honestly, you could, um, you could set this out if you wanted to and just plug your stuff into the ports and plug your controllers in and mount your game and you could play this. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Lots of breakable bits here, but uh, you could. Now, with this, this one is not very dirty at all, but uh, you could use compressed air. That's what you should use to just kind of blow this out. Um, you can use your hand, you know, if you see something on there. But uh, nothing astringent. I, I'm not even sure I would go with alcohol in here. Uh, I mean, I know you can, but I probably wouldn't. Now, this one's very clean. I mean, I'm not even going to blow it off with um, with compressed air, but... Uh, that's what you would do uh, in that regard. So, there's your bits and pieces. Um, take all this apart. Uh, not this, but uh, take your console completely apart and clean it out well. Um, now, when you're putting it back together, <clears throat> it's going to be the exact opposite of what we do just did. But uh, let me show you a couple of things. Um, this is just a Lysol wipe. Uh, you can also use, I mean, everybody knows uh, the cotton ball and alcohol method, you can do that. But I think these are um, a little more self-contained. There is some alcohol in them. 
So you can just rub it down and look at that. Dirty. Um, the reason I recommend, rather than just doing this, the reason I recommend the soapy water bath is that's going to loosen some of this grit that's down in the uh, that's down in the the nooks and crannies. And ooh, there's baking soda in that. Don't do that, kids. Um, but that's going to loosen up some of that grit. And then you can take something like I just did uh, with a toothbrush, preferably not one with dried baking soda in it, and you can uh, you can scrub that out. Um, with these, you can get some of it, but you're just not going to get all of it unless you submerge it and get it cleaned out. Now, um, let's say you've done all that. Ugh, that was gross. You've done all that, and you just want a little extra shine to it. I talked about that a, a couple of minutes ago. There's no reason that these consoles can't have a little bit of shine, even though they're flat. And I have used these on every console I own, uh, so there's not any of them that, that can't have a little bit of a shine to it. Uh, I know there's the WD-40 trick, you know, spray it into a paper towel and rub it down. But a few years ago, Armor All came out with wipes for the inside of your car. I have been using these on my consoles for a while now, and you just rub it. And these also, um, if you want to use these to clean, you can kind of see these do get the dirt off too. I use them in my car and on my consoles. And um, what they'll do, and you won't be able to see it here because I don't have time to let it dry, but they will um, put a little bit of that protectorant on here. And yeah, they'll make your console a little slick when it's first on there, but uh, they'll give it a shine. And they'll also cover up some of these scuffs uh, you can't really see it here until it dries, like I said, but they will cover up some scuffs, and it's almost like um, it's almost like waxing it. Uh, but just give it a good rub down with these, um, and you can substitute these for the Lysol wipes, like I was talking about, will go or the Q-tip and alcohol. It's just going to now. I wouldn't use these on the inside of the console, but it's just going to give your console a nice, clean shine to it. And um, I, I would actually recommend going back with a soft cloth, give this some time to dry so that whatever alcohol is in it uh, evaporates, but then kind of going over it with a soft cloth to, to rub out any uh, drying marks that you get. I just think that the look when you're done with those is, uh, is really good and it gives it a little bit of extra shine. So as far as reassembly goes, one, uh, make sure that all these parts that are going back inside get super, super dry. And I don't mean rub them down with a paper towel and stick them back in. Don't do that. Um, dry them. Leave them out overnight. That's uh, my recommendation. Leave them out on a, a towel somewhere to dry. Uh, they do not need to just be plopped back in there. If you do that, you will fry this and the whole thing will quit working. So let's not do that. Um, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, anything that, uh, uh, that I didn't cover that you have questions about, uh, let me know in the comments below. Also, I was going to actually show the reassembly of this, but I've decided I'm going to paint this Genesis because it's not the one I use. So, um, I'm going to go clean this up the right way and then, uh, put some paint on it. So, uh, maybe at the end of the video, I'll show uh, a picture of how it comes out. I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to leave the bottom black and paint the top gold. We'll see. I don't know. You guys will have to check it out later. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment below, and we'll see you next time.